Hey guys, it's time. Today I'll be reading the story of Iron Man by Krissa Wong. Tony Stark was good at making stuff. He was so good that the army wanted Tony to help them. Tony was working in a secret lab. There was an explosion and Emmy had attacked the lab. They wanted to use Tony to make weapons. They took Tony away. They took Tony to his prison so There he met another prisoner. His name was Yizen. Yizen was a scientist. He put a hand he put a hand on Tony's shoulder. He was told Tony was hurt. Yizen built something to help Tony. It would help Tony's heart beat. It would always have to wear. It would keep him alive. They will also build a suit of armor. Tony would wear it would make him strong. It would help them escape. In this suit, Tony could break through anything. He smashed through the brick walls. He took on the whole army, enemy army. He easily beat them. The enemy was scared. They ran away from Tony. Tony was able to extend, use his suit to fly home. Tony wanted to use the suit to help others. On TV, he saw there was a crime happening. He flew to the crime science to stop to stop the crook. But then he, but when he got there, people were afraid of him. His armor was too scary. He paid his armor gold. Now maybe people won't be be scared. But his armor was still not perfect yet. He needed to fix it some more. Tony kept working on his suit. He made it lighter. He painted it red and gold. He created a powerful energy force. Now he could shoot blasters from, from his hands. He could fire rockets from his boots. His suit could fly faster than ever before. He had to think of a secret superior name for himself. He called himself Iron Man. Iron Man fought super villains. Sometimes Iron Man had to fight two super villains at the same time. Iron Man could attack from behind. He could even lift up heavy baggage. <laughs> that little guy smiling. That big guy. Tony always looked for a new ways to fix arm. He used special tools to he put on his goggles. He and he worked all the time. When he was not being an armor, he was a businessman. He ran stock instruction. But Tony always kept suitcase nearby with his arm and armor in it. After all, he never knew when the world would need a Iron Man. Thank you for watching the story of Iron Man. Bye guys!